This right here is our Eon Mira 9 laser engraver. And this unit right here is our Ohmtech 60 watt laser. This Mira 9 is considered a high speed laser engraving machine. It's also a CO2 laser engraver. And this model features a 90 watt glass tube and it's a Reese tube. And this unit right here has a working life of 15,000 hours. This Ohmtech unit is a CO2 laser engraver as well. This is the manual focus 2028 and it's powered by a 60 watt CO2 laser tube as well. This one has a working hour life of 1500 hours. So if you're in the market for a CO2 laser engraver, you've most likely heard of both brands, Eon and Ohmtech. And I'm often asked, what are some of the major differences between the brand Eon and Ohmtech? And today I'm gonna to cover a feature that is often overlooked, but I feel is extremely important when choosing your first CO2 laser engraver. And in order for us to do that, I need to pop the hoods on both of these units and we're gonna get under there and take a look. So if you own a CO2 laser engraver or plan on purchasing one, let's be honest, maintenance is gonna be a part of ownership and nobody likes doing maintenance. Now, depending on how many hours a day or the type of environment you're running, your laser engraver will determine how often you should be cleaning your lenses and mirrors. I find it a good habit to clean them daily if I have the time. And today I'm simply gonna walk you through the process of removing the lens on both the Eon and Ohmtech machines. Okay, we're under the hood of the Ohmtech 60 watt unit. This right here is your air assist line. You'll need to go ahead and remove that. Simply press down on this fitting, pull back on that air line and it should pop right out. You can even feel the air coming out of that tube. Now on this Ohmtech unit, you have a 90 degree fitting and we need to remove this tapered portion next. The problem with that is once you start to loosen this, it's gonna hit the, the laser pointer assembly in the backside here. So in order for me to get that removed, I would have to either remove this brass fitting going into the nozzle, or I just removed, removed my laser pointer out of the way that now allows me to go ahead and access and keep spinning this tapered portion of the tube. You will also notice that on the honeycomb bed, I've placed a nice clean paper towel. I would highly recommend using a microfiber for it, but for this video, we had a nice shop towel available. With this portion now removed, you'll notice the bright, shiny aluminum knurled piece here. You wanna go ahead and turn that counterclockwise to loosen that piece, carefully set it aside. This is now gonna allow you to see your lens inside of that nozzle. There's also gonna be a white little O-ring spacer inside of there. I usually take this and turn it upside down. And that's gonna give you access to the lens itself the spacer, and then this is your aluminum threaded insert. So at this point in time, now that you have access to your lens, depending on the make and model of the lens you're running on your CO2 laser engraver, you would clean it per the manufacturer's instructions. For this lens right here, I simply use denatured alcohol and a nice cotton swab. If you're interested in a full tutorial on the lens cleaning process, drop a comment below and let me know. Once you're satisfied your lens is clean, you would simply repeat the order of operations. We are now looking inside of the Mira 9. You will simply want to locate these two 2.5 two millimeter button head screws and remove them. This right here is your autofocus probe. I like to simply move mine out of the way. Next, you'll locate this large red anodized piece and carefully remove that from the gantry. And lo and behold, there's your lens. Now, another thing I should mention, you will notice that lens was secured with three screws and it did not fall out onto the paper towel or my microfiber. A lot of people have issues on the Ohmtech machines. They will damage or lose the lens. It will fall on the ground. They will get fingerprints on it. And we most often see that lens get reinstalled incorrectly, causing a lot of additional issues. You will not have to deal with any of that on the Eon Mira 9 unit, as you just saw. Now at this point, you would also want to adhere to the manufacturer's recommendation on how to clean that particular make and model lens you're running in your laser engraver. So at this point, you might be asking yourself, well, Ryan, why does any of this matter? The problem with a laser engraver, it can only work up to its full capacity. The Ohmtech has rapids at 600 millimeters a second, whereas the Eon Mira 9 right here behind me, that can operate at 1200 millimeters a second. 
So just my operational speed alone, I'm increasing productivity with something like the Eon Mira 9. Now, if you were running this machine for 12 hours and you had to do the proper maintenance at the end of the day, be really honest with yourself. What machine would you be more inclined to do? That's what's so special about Eon laser engravers. They're really known for innovation. They put a lot of engineering into something as simple as accessing that lens and getting it clean because they know at the end of the day, if you have something very easy to clean, you're more likely to clean and maintain that machine. And I'm gonna be honest with you, if you do not clean and properly maintain these machines, you are bound for a crash or a component failure. And that's the last thing you wanna have happen because it's always gonna happen at crunch time when you have orders stacked up and that's not a fun situation to find yourself in. Not only have I had the pleasure of operating both in Ohm Tech and Eon here in the Rise and Grind workshop, but I'm also an affiliate for both Eon and ohm tech and as you can most likely tell this is not an apple to apple comparison both of these units have a place in the workshop and armed with this information today i'm simply hoping i can help assist you in the decision making process and choosing the right laser engraver for you and your dreams if you gained any value out of this video could you do me a small favor and hit that like button it really does help us small creators and while you're down there i would love it if you would drop a comment on a subject you would love to see me make a video on and last up, if you would like to save 5% on the line of Omtech laser engravers or parts, I do have a description down below and also use discount code RNGProducts 5 off at checkout. And if you have an interest in learning more information about the Eon line of laser engravers and you gained any value out of this video, please mention Ryan with the Rise and Grind Workshop as I'm an affiliate for Eon and I do make a small commission, which in turn helps this channel stay alive. Thanks for watching and as always, we will catch you guys on the next video.